Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin Take bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Um, happy Sunday. And today I want to do another lab video. So I've been doing lab videos on the weekend. So if you've been following along with me, you know it's another it's lab time. Time to do more labs. So today I want to go over NTFS, which is share drive permissioning and how that works and what you might see in your job, if that makes sense. Obviously, you're new to my channel, do IT videos and desktop. So four videos talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. All right. So let me share my screen with you and you see what I'm talking about. So share drive permission is super important, by the way. You might see this in your environment. So let's go over this real quick. So my screen is share. Right. So today is server 2016 share drive access. Um, what is NTFS? NT NTFS or NT file system, sometimes it's a new technology for file system used for file system that Windows NT operating system uses for storing and retrieving files on a hard disk. Um, and however, NTFS offers a number of improvements over FAT and HPFS in terms of performance. So it has like, this is like a whole definition. I don't really, I, I put it in here, but like you, you don't have to memorize a definition. If you're going to a job interview, all you need to do, all you need to know is NTFS is, is basically shared drive permissioning. And I'm gonna explain that right now and I'm gonna break it down for you, okay? So how is it used at, how is it used at work? Um, so you, we, use, we have different security groups. So we have a, a security group and a bunch of people are added to that security group and then people have access to that folder. That's usually how it's done on, a, on an IT department. From my experience, whether I'm, I, it might be, I might be wrong, it might be right, depending on the company, obviously, but there is a security group and in, in that security group is a bunch of people added to that group. And then you add that you add that security group to the folder that you're trying to share, and then you're 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 good after that. All all you gotta do literally is have the user log off and log back in, and then you map the drive for them. That's my personal experience. Obviously, it's different for every company. Um, some companies they might grant the user access to that to that folder without adding them to a group. They might just have the user get added to a group, and they're good to go. Or they might just have a, a user added by themselves to that folder and have access to it. And then some companies. Um, they don't want the user to have access to everything. They might just give them access to one specific folder. So it really depends on the company. It really depends how you have it set up in your department and stuff like that. But you need to understand shared drive permissioning. That is very important. All right. How is it used for desktop support? Obviously, I just went over. Level one might have permission to grant shared drive access. They may not. Do you want the user to inherit the whole folder? Do you want them to have access to all the folders in that, in that company? Or do you want them to just have access to one folder? That's entirely up to you. That's entirely up to your department. Shared drive access is almost used in every company. Every company I have worked in IT, they, they do shared drive accessing. I, I might be wrong. I may, may be right. I don't know. But this is something you need to know if you're doing help desk or desktop support. Just remember that. And then some, some people that, that do server admin, they might be doing this a lot. Um, from my personal experience, if you're a junior admin, you might be touching this a lot as well. If you do level one, you may not be touching this. It really depends on your company. It depends on where you, what company you're working for and stuff like that. So now that I went over that, let's go over this. So I logged into my server. Obviously, I'm already logged in. How do, I, how do you create a shared drive folder? So you basically go into your local C. You, you right-click on it. Um, I hit properties. I hit sharing and I hit share. So this basically allows me to share the folder. So if I, if I make a new folder, I'll show you exactly how I did it. I did a new folder. I'm going to call it test. All right. And then I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to hit properties. I'm going to hit properties and I'm going to do share. And then this is not network path, not shared. You hit shared and you just hit share. And now it's a shared draft path directory. And how do you confirm that it is there? You basically go to that path. So, if you go back, see how I went all the way, it's, it's a shared drive now. Now, when it has a little green mark like that, that means it's a shared folder, if that makes sense. So what are we trying to accomplish today? What am I trying to show you today? So basically, we're gonna create a shared folder. This is for lab simulations, obviously. Um, we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into um, KevTech, right? So we're gonna go back. So you can either try to write it down or you could, you could write down the path directory or you could just right click on it. You could hit properties um, and then you could just copy the whole path and literally just go into it. That's it. So let me go one step back. And then what I'm going to do is for this, for the sake of this video, I'm going to create a bunch of folders. So I'm going to create one called IT. I'm going to create another one called HR because this is we're doing, we're doing live simulations right now. I'm going to create another one called um, compliance. 
I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call that help desk. All right. So now we have a bunch of folders and what do you, what, what is share drive permissioning? So from my personal experience, usually people have a share drive cr uh, creation folder and then they have a, a group associated with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my active directory users and computers, right? And how do you get into it? You hit server manager and you hit active directory users and computers, um, or you, you go to the shortcut. I created a shortcut already. So I'm obviously going to go here and I'm going to do literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my user's account or my user's folder and I'm going to do a group. I'm going to literally do a group and I'm going to call it help desk and I'm going to, I'm going to create a security group global and I'm going to hit it might, it might exist already. So, let me see if it exists. This is, does exist. So we're going to go into, so this is, this is, is a, there's a person called help desk. Is there a group called help desk? Let me see. Help desk. Yeah, it says the thing, this already exists. So let me, so how do I confirm that it exists? You hit find and I'm going to hit help desk. So it's a user that is called help. I'm gonna do entire directory. So it's a user called help desk. So what I'm gonna do is, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call it something else then. Let's do a group and let's do desktop support. This should work. There we go. All right. So we wanna we want people to we want people to have access to that folder, right? So we're gonna go back to the folder. Um this folder called help desk, right? We're gonna right click on it, we're gonna hit properties. We're gonna go into share, security, edit, right? And literally, see how everyone has, see how there's different, different groups added here? Literally, we're gonna go into add, and I'm gonna do desktop. See how desktop support is in it. So, if you go to the advanced settings, it says, do you want, do you want, the, do you want it to read, and, read it and execute? You can. Do you want it to inherit the whole folder going from the sub level to the 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 the, 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 the level, the different levels of folders? So this gets a little complicated. I'm just letting you know. Um, you hit edit. If you hit edit, there is modify and full control. So obviously, since they're help desk, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them full control and modify. I'm gonna give them access to everything. And then you hit okay, and then you hit okay, and then you hit okay. So let's go back into it. It's going to properties again. We're gonna go back into security. We're gonna go back into the advanced tab. It says inherited from none. It doesn't does not. It's not inheriting anything. So, and then what I'm gonna do is, for the sake of this video, you see what I'm gonna do right now. See, I have a different. I have a lot of different users and groups. I'm gonna. I already have a help desk account, right? So I'm gonna add that help desk account to this folder called, or this security group called desktop support. So I'm gonna double click. Well, not double click. Sorry. Right click on it. Hit properties hit members and I'm going to do desktop support and I'm going to do apply. I'm going to do okay. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is cause I don't remember the password. I'm going to do reset password. Uh, I'm going to do same thing. Password one, two, three, password one, two, three. And now I'm going to go into my VM right over here. Right. Control delete. And I'm going to try to log in as help desk. You, if, if you work in an IT department, right? See this, the security group I just created. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these companies will have a description on it. So if, and some, like a lot of these companies that I worked in, they have, they have a description on it and they literally, it tells you where, what that folder is and stuff like that. So usually what I do is if, depending on your company, obviously, I like to keep everything organized. So this is what I do. I literally would copy and paste the share drive directory and I would right click on properties and now I would go to the desktop support and I'll put it in the description. And I will write um, something like folder access, folder access to Cap Tech help desk. Right. That's what I would do if it was me in my department. 
we do this by the way in my department other departments do that too some companies do that every company has to have some sort of way to keep this organized otherwise it's going to drive you crazy you know so then what you do is you're logged in as this person right and remember this this can be this can literally this can literally be a an interview question how do you map a drive how do you map a drive oh i go into c drive explorer go to this pc you right click on this pc and you do map network drive and then you pick a letter and then you map the drive whatever path directory it is so literally you have a bunch of security groups hopefully that makes sense literally you have a bunch of security groups like this one right so you go into it and literally what i would do if i was the it help desk person or desktop support i just copy and paste it and then i'll just throw it in here if that makes sense and it might not let me copy and paste it doesn't let you do that so it's totally fine so you'll do server 2016 kevtech kevtech.com slash help desk and i'll make it uh I'll make it a the Z drive, I guess. And it should let you do it. There we go. And how do you confirm that it's there? It's right here. Look at this. Now you have a help desk folder drive. Simple as that. Not complicated, right? I, ho I hope it wasn't. I hope that wasn't complicated. And then you could do the same thing. So like literally, you go into the C drive. You go into um, what is C drive? You go into the shared drive permissioning, and then you you start granting access to specific folders to specific users. Now, how do you how do you grant access to one person only? So this it's the same. The same thing, you right click on, like if you go to HR, you right click on it, you hit properties, you hit security, you hit edit, you hit add. Uh, I'm gonna do advanced, find now. And I, I think I have an account here for somebody. So I'm gonna do, uh, let's do, should I do, we have different groups. So it gets a little complicated. So let me go back here. I know I have a user account, Janet Smith. All right, Janet Smith. All right. So I'm going to go into J Smith and I'm going to hit OK. We're going to hit advance and it says inherit. Do you want her to inherit the whole folder or do you want her to just have access to that one folder? So then you hit add it and you hit modify and then that's it. And you hit OK and you hit OK and you hit OK. And then what I would do is if it was me, like literally if it was me, um, I, I would, like this is a help desk thing. I would call her, I'd be like, hey, you should have access to the share drive now. Please call me as, when you can, I'll map it for you. And then you, you, you map it for them. You, you, you have the user to log in, you do a screen share with them and then you map the folder for them. And that's it, that's it. I hope this doesn't, I hope this doesn't confuse you, but we're gonna start playing around with this. There's a reason why I'm creating multiple folders. But well, that's, that's basically a tutorial on NTFS. Um, I try not to make it too complicated. So hopefully you understand what I did today and hopefully this doesn't, this doesn't confuse you. Obviously, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Um, and as always, um, thanks for watching my video. As always, give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And this is just NTFS on a, on a level one spectrum, just to try to explain it to everyone because some people do not know what that is and some people do not know what shared drive permissioning is. And I want to make it as non-complicated as possible because it gets complicated. Tell me, it gets very complicated and hopefully this video makes sense, all right? Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys have a great Sunday, all right? Take care, peace, later.